A couple of weeks ago, I made a video on the HPR Neo where I discussed latency issues between SimPro and SimHub. And a big thank you to you guys and Nicholas, author of SimHub, for pointing it out in the comments that by not using the licensed version of SimHub, the data was less accurate than it should have been. In my previous test, I was using an insider build of SimPro and a non-licensed version of SimHub. But this time, I'm using a stable public build of SimPro and the latest licensed version of SimHub. So the comparison should be much more accurate. The test parameters remain identical to last time. I'll be comparing upshift and downshift feedback using a single camera at 240 frames per second, capturing both the input from the game and the reaction time of the haptics. This method reduces the margin of error, though keep in mind that these tests are more of an approximation and not strictly scientific. Just like last time, the frequency in both software is set to 35 Hz, pulse duration to 30 milliseconds and strength 75%. Starting with EAWRC, SimHub provided the most consistent and instantaneous feedback on all upshifts and downshifts, which was less than 4.1 milliseconds. Combining the upshift and downshift data, we get an average latency of 4.17 milliseconds for SimHub and 18.25 milliseconds for SimPro. Previously, it was 30.63 milliseconds for SimHub and 16.08 milliseconds for SimPro. To put it in slang terms, SimHub ate SimPro and left no crumbs. Ow. Moving on to Assetto Cosa, I was not expecting this. The lag was noticeable and SimHub outperformed SimPro by a huge margin. Combining the upshift and downshift data gives us an average latency of 9.38 milliseconds for SimHub and 106.33 milliseconds for SimPro. So definitely not ideal. Previously, it was 31.02 milliseconds for SimHub and 123.38 milliseconds for SimPro. Lastly, the Trali 2.0. Here, I could not feel much of a difference and the times reflect that. Both the softwares are really neck and neck. And when combining the upshift and downshift data, we get an average latency time of 17.72 milliseconds for SimHub and 14.6 milliseconds for SimPro. Previously, it was 56.26 milliseconds for SimHub and 26.51 milliseconds for SimPro. It's clear that both softwares provide varying results across different games. But the good news is that HPR Neo is fully compatible with SimHub and both the softwares are and will continue to get updates that will improve performance and fix any bugs. And before I wrap up, I want to take a moment to thank all of you. We recently hit a thousand subscribers. I don't remember the exact moment it happened, but I'm beyond grateful for each and every one of you who made it possible. Your support truly means a lot. Thank you for watching, for all the likes, comments and subs. Please keep them coming. I have been Darth Snape and as always, may the downforce be with you.